All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you have one of these 2022 Outback Wilderness, then chances are you don't have the wireless Apple CarPlay available in your car. Instead of waiting for the update from Subaru, which will probably never happen at this point, I decided to check this thing out. This is the CarLink IT and uh, the version 4.0. And I wanted to check it out today on the Outback and to see if it does really provide you with wireless Apple CarPlay. With that said, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. I'll show you guys what's inside. This will be a very short video i plan on just installing it and then showing you guys how to use it all right so let's go ahead and just unbox it so inside you get some instructions this is the unit so this thing is a lot smaller than what i pictured from the website so this fits nicely in your hand this means that it'll fit pretty well in that little cubby then it also comes with some cables you got the USB-C cable right here, and then you also get the traditional one, which we will use on the car. So that said, let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. I forgot to mention that one of the reasons I wanted wireless CarPlay was to avoid having to plug in my phone 24 seven every time I wanna use it. So I know that depletes the battery and I just wasn't a fan of that. So hopefully this thing here does the job. I'm gonna start with the Bluetooth off on my phone and then let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. Oh, and if you have a newer Outback, then chances are you'll have the USB-C. And if you have the USB-C, chances are you have wireless CarPlay because that's the updated head unit. So this doesn't apply to you, but the older ones, the 2022s, have the normal USB right here. So I just plugged it in, oops. And let's see what it does. Okay, we're getting a little light. Enable Apple CarPlay. Don't show this again. Yes. All right, let's see what's next. Please connect your phone to the Bluetooth. So on my phone, I'm gonna go into the Bluetooth settings. And it shows up as Subaru TBD A4DB that matches on the screen so we'll go ahead and click that um, yeah let's allow it use CarPlay I did read that it takes a little bit to connect but I'm hoping this is only a first time kind of thing I think I think we're connected so let's go to the home page Oh my gosh, there it is. So if you know, then this is never here if your phone isn't plugged in and the cable's right there. Let's see if we can play some music. Oh, not yet. There it is, it's fully connected. See, that was just a one-time thing. It doesn't do it each time. I guess we can have the phone unplugged. This thing tucked in here like I originally wanted. So we're gonna leave that in there and it's out of the way. Oh, this is great. Test it out by playing some music. And there it goes. Yep, it works. So that is cool. So I'm gonna do another test. I wanna see how long it takes to connect to the car. So I'm gonna leave it connected as is Apple CarPlay. Most of us just, you know, shut the car off when it's like this. So let's say we're driving. I'm gonna do the full experience. We're connected to CarPlay. We're driving, reached our destination, put it to park, put the brakes on and then we shut off the car. So open the door, this thing should shut off. Okay. Wait a few seconds for it to completely shut off before we try to reconnect. Okay. I'm even gonna do the alarm. 
then unlock it again just to make sure okay this is real time so we'll start the car and I'm looking at this thing right here okay activated and if I have to do this each time that's kind of a hassle but that doesn't really bother me I mean it does it on its own so there we go so that wasn't even that long that was like 15 20 seconds and it's fully connected so that that's awesome i really really like that so yeah this is what it looks like about 15 20 seconds from a fresh start before it can connect and we're fully connected it's a simple device like this with huge changes which is great so anyway you guys that was just a brief demonstration of the car link it this is the version 4.0 for wireless carplay so far so good and I think we are set. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.